Thank you. I've been called a dreamer that often has nightmares. This is, this is clearly not one of them. I, I just wanted to, I really took the time to listen to each and every one of my colleagues here who I have the highest degree of respect for, these individuals on this panel, uh, with the exception of our friend from Germany who brings such great intelligence uh, and insight. But these are the people who are the pioneers of this industry. And I'm fortunate to be counted among one that is going to learn from this great wisdom. I would be amiss if I didn't take a moment, and I didn't hear this morning at all a recognition of uh, my dear friends from the State Department, the U.S. State Department. Uh, they have been a, such a tremendous advocate of renewable energy. Uh, the Obama administration, Power Africa, uh, John Kerry, who I had the, the pleasure of spending time with in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, where we executed a three gigawatt bilateral agreement. The U.S. State Department has committed itself to ensuring that it can do everything it can to help and assist countries around the world through advancements in technology, as well as providing low-cost loans or subsidies and various other forms of assistance. So we, we do need to recognize that the U.S. State Department and everything that they do has been helpful and will continue to do so. Listening to my dear friend from Tata, and I'm just going to share with you some of the, the feedback that I have from some of the feedback that I heard. Brilliant insight, Ashish. Uh, the Tata continues to follow its leadership of its family in building quality technology. And based on meetings that I've had with, with your group and everything we've heard about Tata, we look forward to becoming a customer and buying some of your fantastic modules, Make in India modules. Uh, Renew, uh, Cement. You really are a visionary. You have a fantastic vision of the issues at hand. And I like the comment that you made about no fossil fuels by 2030. We hope that that's not a dream, but a reality. Our friend from Germany, Gora, I, I think you provide an honest insight and look at what the markets are in Germany, and we could learn from that here in India and other countries around the world. And I can tell you that SkyPower looks forward to using your company services because honesty and integrity and reporting and understanding the opportunity is truly strategic as companies like ourselves are investing billions of dollars into the markets like India. My friend from Hero, Sunil. What a visionary, what a hero. His family found a way to mobilize humanity and became the leader in doing so. So I have no doubt that his vision and his energy is sound and he will find a way to power humanity. And I look forward to working with you, Sunil, in the years ahead here in India. Your wisdom is truly inspiring. Vineet and his wonderful wife, Sindor, a dear old friend. You know, I don't think a birthday or wedding anniversary goes by without getting a nice gift from Vineet in the mail. It's always a reminder of my old times here in India. Thank you, Vineet. Vineet's truly been a pioneer and been at the forefront of the solar industry. A brave soul. He's got a bit of a, a, a Elon Muskish type of a vision. He doesn't have the stock price to back it up yet. But he does truly have a vision. I don't know if oil will ever hit $10 a barrel. Not because he doesn't think it's going to be the case. But it's more so, I think, because the oil companies won't let that happen. And I don't know why because all they had to do is take half of the riches, invest in solar alongside us, and they'd be fatter and healthier and, and wealthier. But what Vanita said is true, and what stood out the most of what he said is, and this will stay with me, everybody can become a generator. That is so very true. With the net metering and a handful of states growing more around the world, everybody can be a generator. And that is truly the greatest solution to the energy challenges of the world because that is the truest form of distributed energy. Now, I'm not an engineer, but I can tell you it is possible. And it's proven in countries like Germany and other countries around the world. And to my dear colleague from Sun Edison, we're partners in some countries. You're a supplier. You're a competitor. I think we have the odd lawsuit here and there. That's okay. We still love you. You truly have a command of economics of solar that I have not heard before, truly. And that's so refreshing because it's helpful to have industry leadership that's not just about dreaming or being a visionary, but someone who really sits down and has an understanding of how that technology works and has a firm grasp and an outlook of 
what the future does hold and potentially how we can capitalize on that. So I really appreciated your comments and I will tell you that I'm going to go out and double my holdings in Sun Edison shares because I believe in your company. Satish, you've put on a, an amazing event that you've held this morning that I've had the pleasure of participating in, your, your vision and your commitment to renewable energy and your exemplary organization and time management skills. I, don't, I feel like I'm messing them up, but I will finish in less than three minutes. But I did want to tell you that to truly appreciate the opportunity to be able to share with you and, and be shared with some of the, the wisdom from these people here on the panel. And today, as I always say, I try to learn something new each day. Today I learned a great deal and I'm, I'm very fortunate for that. I don't really have a crystal ball, but I do know one thing, that we are in an evolutionary state in the, in the solar industry. And we will quickly gravitate to revolutionary technology and those are quantum leaps. We see at SkyPower dramatic improvements in efficiencies. I'm not a firm believer in the Swanson effect or the Swanson law. It sounds nice on paper, but in reality, technology is going to go at its own speed. What we are seeing is a worldwide shortage looming. By Q1 of next year, you'll see a spike in solar panel prices and a shortage of demand, shortage of supply due to increased demand because manufacturing, bankable manufacturers cannot turn on capacity fast enough to meet the demand. SkyPower is today sitting with nine gigawatts of contracts that it has yet to buy solar panels for. That's the equivalent of at least two or three of the largest producers in the world. And we're only getting started. India will command three years supply of all the bankable solar manufacturers in the world today. So a lot of manufacturing opportunities will be abound and we think that in the interim that will create pricing pressure and maybe the existing manufacturers will start making tremendous fortunes, which would be great because they'll reinvest more into R&D. What we see as a game changer is battery and Sky Power's storage and innovation group, which is a Skunk Works project, is at the forefront of it. We have people scouring the world, meeting with scientists, testing various forms of technologies from Russia to Canada, all over the world. And we believe that we will be one of the leaders that will pioneer and identify and make available publicly the best battery that will change the way that energy is delivered to people around the world. On Monday, Sky Power will announce that it is entering the home business, Sky Power Home, where we will announce that we will be distributing and or installing five million homes with solar technology, either kits or panels, by 2019. Because we believe in distributed solar and we've decided that it's time for Sky Power to enter the home business. So we will be announcing that publicly in Toronto on Monday. A final note, we believe that it is not only important to give, to take, but to give. Sky Power is announcing today that it will provide, for every year that it's doing business in India, 10 scholarships for 10 students to each one of the three universities we've identified so far are, are programs, EMPI, NAME University, and IIT. It will be gifted by those universities based on need, merit, and commitment to help join us in changing the world. That's a total over the 25 year period of 750 students that we will pay for their education and I invite all of my colleagues and friends to match that donation because I think as leaders that are making profits in the solar industry we owe it to humanity and we owe it to the lower younger generations let me see I raise a hand from Sud Edison are you in yes there we go you now have 750 times two with the math 1500 scholarships anyone else Will you match that? That's a no. Will you match it? <laughs> 750. Fantastic. And Tata, you already have your humanitarian. I know, you guys are fantastic leadership. So my friend from San Edison and I were committing to now 20 scholarships per year for three universities that's chosen for renewable programs. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and making that a
And our friends, Goldman Sachs, do they make contributions to university? I'll send a note to Brian Bolster. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today, and we look forward to working with you in the future.